All I can say is thank goodness for waterproof mascara. I was watching Grey's Anatomy before I filmed this and wow. Hello my beautiful YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Haley. if you don't already know. So I'm in a little bit of a different space today. Normally I don't sit in my room for a sit down video, but you know what, I just needed a change of scenery, you know? Also I'm pretty sure the last video I did in this room was my closet declutter and I'm almost positive I'm wearing the exact same shirt in that video. But that's okay. Before we get started into the self-care tips, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I make intentional and healthy living videos and minimalism. If any of those interest you at all, make sure to click that subscribe button. Also make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to find out how you can win a Starbucks gift card. Now, with all that being said, let's get into the self-care ideas. When I think of self-care, I think of like taking a bath, doing a bath bomb, scrub, shaving, all that stuff. We're talking about none of that today. Um, <laughs> so these tips are real self-care that you can do every day to live a happier life. Now, let's get into these tips. I know some of these are gonna sound real cliche, blah, blah, blah. The number one thing is move your body every single day. And I know that people are like, I know I'm time to work out and blah, 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 but I'm not saying work out every single day. Even I don't do that. I do get bored of working out. I don't want to work out every single day, but moving your body every single day, getting those endorphins pumping, blood flowing, just makes you feel better. And it will help you sleep at night. I notice the days that I sit on the couch like all day long, and like hardly do anything. I don't sleep well at night and it's because I didn't burn enough energy. So the more energy you burn, the better your sleep. And you know, like good sleep helps for so many different things. And there's so many different ways you can move your body, whether it's dancing, walking, hiking, surfing, where, whatever you need to do, make sure to move your body every single day. Even if it's just basically cleaning up your entire house and moving around, I work up a sweat that way. Okay, these little things up here are really annoying me but it's kind of making me want bangs. Anyway, the second tip is to plan your day the night before. I feel like if I have a plan for the next day, I end up being way more productive. And this also helps me if I plan the night before that I'm going to be excited to wake up. There's a lot of times where like, I'll plan to film one day and I literally will be so excited that getting up will be easier because I just want to jump out of bed and get ready to go. Like set out your clothes um, program. If you have a coffee maker that make coffee the night before, I keep telling myself I need to do do this make your coffee at night that way as soon as you wake up in the morning your coffee's ready like just do whatever you have to do like little things that you have to do to plan for the next day that way the next day you can be your most productive self number three get off your freaking phone i feel kind of hypocritical saying this because there have been days where i literally spent like upwards of six hours on my phone if not more and i'm not proud of it but i made a goal in 2021 to not be on my phone nearly as much. I have a limit on my phone of three hours. I told myself this and so far it's been going fairly well. I've noticed since putting down my phone, one, I'm not as like sad comparing myself to people online. Two, I'm definitely way more present. I know it's only been like four days. I'm way more present when I'm with Paisley, when I'm with my family and stuff like that. Like I'm in the moment and not thinking about the fact that someone else has more followers than me or something random. Random. It has helped mentally the last couple days. My mind has been clearer the last couple days. I definitely think it's going to be a struggle, but it definitely is a habit that I want to get into because I just know that it will help me mentally so much more. My fourth tip, kind of going along with the get off your phone, is to be intentional with social media. Think about why you're using social media. Is it for a business? Is it to connect with people? Is it for making your brand? If it's for connecting with people, think about when's the last time you comment on someone's photo? When's the last time you did anything? anything but just liked someone's photo. Did you message someone and be like, oh my gosh, that's such a cute picture of your dog or something. Like if you're trying to connect with people through social media, use it for connecting with people. Don't just like like a person's post and then scroll past. Or kind of like me, I'm trying to build my brand. So I'm trying to connect with people, but also post pictures that are aesthetically pleasing and kind of stuff along those lines. Like I really want to be intentional with social media and yes, sometimes I get bored and I scroll through Instagram or scroll through TikTok or whatever. I'm trying to work on being intentional with why 
on using social media in the first place. I think this is my fifth tip, um, is to spend time with God or a higher power of your choice. For me, obviously I'm a Christian, the higher power that I look to is God. I definitely neglected this at the end of 2020. I started off really strong. I think it's because we stopped, obviously we had to stop going to church and church is a really big thing for me and um, like the community. Something I want to challenge myself for this year is making that community, but obviously making it when we can't have it physically. I think believing in like a higher power helps you to believe that there's something bigger to to live for. When you believe in something that's higher than you are, it makes you feel like there's something bigger than you. This is my last tip. This is a pretty quick video. My last tip is take care of yourself. Now I've been reading the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. So far I love it. Obviously he talks about his baking these really really small habits. So to give you an example, I have been wanting to read more. I kind of started this at the end of 2020 and I just started to read for like 10 minutes before bed every single night. And now that has transformed to I read until I literally can't keep my eyes open anymore and then I go to bed. I slowly have been getting more and more reading throughout the day and eventually I would like to use that time like instead of watching Netflix or instead of going on my phone, reading instead. Another example of this would be kind of like skincare in the morning. If you have seen some of my videos in the past, you know I suck at skincare. Like I literally suck at it. For like years and years of my life, I wouldn't even wash my face before bed like if I had makeup on. I have now made it a habit to wash my face before bed. Pretty happy about that. So that's now a habit. And now my goal is to slowly integrate more and more skincare steps and eventually have a good skincare routine. But with that, just making slow changes like working out once a week and then once that's a habit working out twice a week three times a week or going for a walk every day for five minutes and then once that becomes a habit maybe go for a walk for 10 minutes and something like that just slowly make habits to take care of yourself let me know if you want to apply any of these tips i know i will be applying them but before we go we have to talk about the giveaway that i'm doing so i'm doing a giveaway so i am 29 subscribers away from the goal that i wanted to hit in 2020 and i said as soon as i hit that goal I will do a small giveaway. So I'm just going to be giving away a Starbucks gift card, but to enter the giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and then also make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be announcing the winner over there as well as kind of hosting the giveaway over on my Instagram. So make sure that you're following my, me on my Instagram. The link for that will, is always in the description. With that being said, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you have any more tips, make sure to comment down below so we can help everybody who watches this video and make sure to subscribe if you like intentional living healthy lifestyle and minimalism videos and i will see you guys all on sunday's video bye